What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Show back with another video, and today I'm talking about games in general. Like I've been, I've been kind of bored, honestly. Now, a while back, I talked about how I was gonna go on the campaign and try to finish a lot of games, and it kind of successfully worked. Like I finished two great games, and I absolutely love those games. Now, those two games were Yakuza Seven and the final fantasy remake see when the remake came out i had played it i'm a big final fantasy fan if you follow in the channel at all but i played it but something about it just really didn't interest me. you know I, I really couldn't get into it couldn't understand why final fantasy 7 was a great game the remake was a great game so for me i really couldn't understand why i really couldn't get into it now i decided to give it another chance when they came out the ps5 remake uh basically not the remake but like the upgraded ps5 version with like fast loading and stuff the game itself was already beautiful it already looked great uh, but it was just cool to see it look even better also being ridiculously fast and that's what actually caused me to beat that game i honestly just so since it was a ps5 version i was just kind of trying new things and and it just kind of worked i kind of ended up falling back in love with those games again just because both of those games ended up getting a ps5 version and as far as yakuza 7 go i really couldn't I'm a, I'm a big fan of turn-based RPGs, but I just didn't never see it in the Yakuza franchise. Like, I never thought that it would be something that they would do. And me playing it, I wasn't really drawn to it immediately. But then, a couple of hours into the game, I had to restart because they don't allow you to cross-save your data. So I ended up having to restart from where I was on PS4, get it to where I was again, and just happened to love it and beat the game all over again. Both of those games were games I had dropped, but then later picked back up and ended up loving them. And then I had a game, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, in which I played on the PS4. But when I got my PS5, I ended up having to take out my hard drive on my PS4. And basically, long story short, I couldn't carry my save data over to the PS5. So I was at the Marjorie Boo Saga. I hadn't completed the game, but that was one of the games on my list to actually go back and complete. But it just sucks because at the end of the day, it ended up being... I got to the Boo Saga, but I was never able to complete the game because I didn't feel like starting over. But then I heard about the Switch announcement, and I figured, hey, if I'm going to start over, it might as well be on Switch. So that way I can play it portably or play it on the TV. But that's just making the long story long. I really, the main topic of this video is talking about video games in general. Are video games boring now? Because I, I see, like, maybe a lot of me, like, I'm older than the people I play the game with specifically. Probably about a good three, four years older. And, you know, back in, I don't want to say back in my day, because that's just you know, ridiculously old. Now, I know you listen to my voice, and it's like, he can't be that old. I'm actually way older than my voice. I probably have a contest talking about uh, guessing how old I am or whatever. I'm actually, I sound young, but I'm not young. But besides the point, there were a couple of games I was looking forward to this year, and honestly, now that I've gotten them, I couldn't care less, which is sad. Um, I wanted to get into the Life is Strange trilogy, and when it came out, I have it, I just haven't touched it. Kena, Bridge of Spirits, I've heard how it's such an amazing game, and it's basically like Immortals Phoenix Rising, and those are two games that I was really interested in, two games that I currently have, PS5 versions included, and I have not touched. I've touched Immortal Phoenix Rising, but I really wasn't able to get into it much. Um, I loved it, but I didn't. Um, the game has to be very interesting to catch my eye apparently. The sad thing is like the last great game for me, the last game that was uh, something that really caught my eye, made me play multiple hours into it was probably Mass Effect. Uh, Mass Effect came out and I had never got to play the originals. I played like maybe three on PS3, did not like it cause I didn't understand where the story was going. Uh, it was kind of above my head at that point. But I ended up playing the remastered collection and I, I honestly had so much fun with that. Like, that was got to be one of my favorite games of all time. I had so much fun with that Mass, Mass Effect collection. Maybe just because, in general, um, it was better for me to just kind of play it all in one bundle than playing it separately. Probably kind of gave me a little bit more enjoyment than I thought it was. That was, like, the last game I was truly hyped up for. Now, for me, I'm an avid 2K player. Uh, I like playing 2K. I love playing 2K to a certain extent. The thing is, the reason why I made this video in general is because I'm sitting there looking at 2K. And if you guys are not familiar with 2K, which a lot of may watch my videos may not know what 2K is, it's, it's basically the NBA game. You might hear, uh, it's, you might have heard of it because it's kind of infamous about its uh, predatory scheme and how it's bad for children because of microtransactions in the game. That is all true. 
But, you know, uh, me and my group of friends, we just love playing 2K, and it's a very good time together. But I feel like, as life goes on, like, me currently, I work a full-time job, so when I make these videos, these are just, like, what I do on my off-time. So I end up working most of the day, I'll be dog-tired, and I'll come, I'll make the video, and I'll have, like, a little bit of time to play the game. And that's just part of, you know, growing up, but it seems like now, everybody's just kind of settling to that era where... Eventually, you just don't have enough time for games. Between all these different things you may do in your life, you just don't have enough time. And that may be the reason why I feel like a lot of the games are kind of dying for me. Like, I remember, like, actually finding all these different amazing games. Like, when I found, like, a, a franchise for the first time. Like, when I played Mass Effect for the first time. Or I played Disgaea for the first time. Those are something that just really clicked. It clicked for me. It was very fun. Like, Disgaea 6 now is, is very boring. They kind of streamlined it. To the point where it's a lot easier for newcomers, but at the same time, it, it has that kind of Pokemon kind of difficulty now where they just killed the difficulty in it. Just like Pokemon. Every year, every iteration of Pokemon is just getting worse and worse for me. Uh, maybe because it felt like the older ones were completely high difficulty. And that may be just because I was younger at the time. But if you look at some of the newer ones, there's just too much as far as like streamlining. They're very easy. And I get it. It's not really our demographic. Now, I don't want to sit here and be completely cynical that i'm not saying there's nothing i'm looking forward to because i'm looking forward to a lot um i just got the demon slayer game so i'm definitely going to un unpack that because that seemed i was waiting on it i was excited for that i'm excited for horizon zero dawn 2 i'm excited for god of war which is another game that was my first it was my first time playing it on same with spider-man and miles morales i'm waiting for all these new games to come but as far as this year i think i'm pretty much done uh, there's some remakes for diamond and pearl that's coming out this year and that's cool <laughs> everything is i mean i i guess it's it's not it doesn't really look like it's my tea i'll play it give it a shot but it doesn't look like something with that being said guys let me ask you this question do you guys feel like the games are kind of dying out now do you feel like there's a lot more potential do you feel like maybe it's just because of life is the reason why i'm specifically kind of dying off video again let me know that in the comments below and thanks for watching please like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>